Welcome back to the show. We're counting down the hours to that bombshell royal yeah. book being dropped, set to lift the lid on Buckingham Palace's racism scandal. This is the book's author, Omid Scobie, speaking to ABC News America. I do know who made the comments about Archie's skin colour. The names were mentioned in letters between Meghan and Charles that were exchanged some time after the Oprah interview. We know from sources that Charles was horrified that that's how Meghan felt those conversations were and that he wanted to, sort of as a representative of the family, have that conversation with her. And it's why I personally think that they have been able to move forward with some kind of line of communication afterwards, though they may not see what eye to eye on it. Mm, all right, well, Associate Editor at The Telegraph in the UK, Camilla Tomini, joins us now. Camilla, good to see you. What do we know about the author and his relationship with Meghan Markle? Well, I think they're just saying that he's not as close to Meghan Markle as we saying, because we often call him the Suffolk, his cheerleader, and say he's Meghan's pal. And he tweeted earlier on that he wasn't her pal and that they weren't friends, and that actually he's done this book off his own back. But I'll just read a review here, which kind of sums it up. The Independent gave it three out of five and said that Scobie was unfailingly sympathetic to the suffixes. He does not hold them accountable for anything. And what I think is quite intriguing about this book is, obviously, there's been a lot of criticism from both Harry and Meghan about the palace briefing against them. But as far as I can tell, this wholly sympathetic book to Harry and Meghan, which is extremely negative about the royal family, as you say there, Sarah, accusing the institution of being tone deaf, racist and financially reckless, must have been informed by someone. I mean, there's quite a lot of intimate detail in the book about conversations that have taken place between the Sussexes and members of the royal family. Omid Scobie himself, they're referring to the letter that was exchanged between Meghan and her father-in-law. So, I mean, somebody's got to be giving him this stuff, right? Yeah. Well, who would it be if it wasn't mm. her? Who could it be? <laughs> the mystery of Omid sources. You'll have to get him on the show and ask him. Uh, I don't <laughs> I know. We tried. I'm, like, kind of sick of it all. I mean, it just keeps mm. on keeping on. What else will we learn? Well, I'll tell you, I'll come through some of the highlights, or as far as the royals are concerned, the lowlights. Um, Harry's willing to forget the royal row, but Meghan refuses. Princess Anne was behind their eviction from Frogmore Cottage. Yes. Meghan and Kate encouraged to dress like Diana. Kate's scared to do anything other than photo ops and is lazy. Um, the king is often envious of his son's popularity and used Harry's teenage drug troubles to improve his own image. Harry's a fool to do the Netflix series, said the king. William's hot-headed. Both he and the princess are said to have found the lampooning of Harry and Meghan on South Park as hilarious. I mean, well, is that mean? everyone else. <laughs> yes, but most people did, Sarah. Um, I mean, I don't know what we do with any of this. The biggest revelation for me was the fact that the king apparently irons, has his, his shoelaces ironed, oh, which God. I know is something Carl does. I've never even heard of we, such a what? thing. Why is this news? Who doesn't iron their shoelaces, Carl? I haven't had shoelaces for a lot of years because I can never tie them up. <laughs> no. Just, uh, anyway, do you know what I mean? Like, it's uh, how is how is oh. Buckingham Palace possibly going to respond to the mm. shoelace rumours? <laughs> well, I think Buckingham Palace may well adopt the late Queen's mantra of never complain, never explain. I think the attitude is we can't retake really this very seriously. It doesn't do much to heal any rifts, does it? I mean, this idea of yet more briefing, I don't quite know what the Princess of Wales has done to deserve it, to be honest. Agreed. I mean, she's not really put a foot wrong. She's kept her head down. She's done the job. I'm also confused by this thing about... Meghan and Kate were encouraged to dress like Diana. The last thing we heard from Meghan was that she wasn't given any help with her wardrobe and she had to wear mooted colours. So which <laughs> is it? Again, this is a book suggesting that, as is ever the case with the Sussexes, there is a few contradictions in the narrative. Mm. Camille, just before we go, um, something a, a revelation that has just come to mind, mm. um, looking there at your home office. Okay. Do you play the drums? Oh, yeah. No, my son does. Oh. Um, I don't want to be playing those drums. And then I've got a daughter who plays the piano because I'm one of these sharp-elbowed parents, like some alpha mum, who's <laughs> like, you've got to learn these instruments. And then, as anyone watching this knows, all I do is fight with them over practicing. Uh, so I don't just, know why I don't just sorry. ditch the drum kit, Can you just get on the drums now? For I mean, it's what is it, 10 o'clock there. Um, just get on the drums and wake those pesky kids up. <laughs> Your poor neighbours. No, but Carl, I can't because they're, ele you know, they're electronic. I've got to turn them on. I'd love to have a go. 
Maybe next time I come on, I'll play chopsticks. All right. Okay? Yes. We can do that. We can do that on Friday. That's a deal. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?